Hundreds of thousands of golfers head to Bandon Dunes each year to find a Scottish feel on the Oregon coast. But the Scotsman who designed the first course there actually lives here in Bend. Jack Hirsch spoke to David McClay Kidd and joins us now with his story, Jack. Lee, I learned a lot about McClay Kidd during the day I spent with him, from what could be his next big project here in Oregon to how he travels for work. Thank you for flying DMK Airlines. I hope you had a nice flight this afternoon. Uh, we look forward to welcoming you to Bend. This is how most of David McClay Kidd's projects begin. Ground speed is almost 200 miles an hour. And end flying his own Cirrus SR-22 across the western U.S. to design golf courses. I groused around saying how challenging it was to get anywhere out of Bend if you wanted to just hop, you know, a few hundred miles. So one of my friends said, go learn how to be a pilot. I said, don't be silly. I, that, that's got to be super difficult. After one flying lesson, he was hooked. Now it's the backbone of his business. I'm usually flying out here early in the week and bouncing all over usually the west coast and coming back in last thing on a Friday night. And I can do more in a week with this than I could in a month without it. Flying out of Bend, Bend and Dunes on the southern Oregon coast, his first major design is just a 45 minute flight away. When he was given the project at just 26 in the mid 90s, he had no idea it would become the mecca it did. Literally hundreds of thousands, maybe even into the millions of people have visited the South Oregon coast and they all come away with the same feeling, how beautiful it is. At Bandon, he says he sought to capture the natural beauty of the property instead of manufacturing it. The beauty was put on a national stage last year when Bandon hosted the U.S. Amateur. The type of golf that's played at Bandon Dunes, this natural rolling, bouncing game, is so unnatural to today's elite players that I am positive that any of the final eight, if I'd have caddied for them, I probably could have handed them the trophy at the end. That was the strategy he tried to instill in me at the range of his central organ design, Tethero. Has to be a seven iron? Has to be a seven iron. You gotta keep it low. I can if it keep was it low with 30 an knots, you gotta keep it low. You want to keep it low with an eight iron, it's going to have too much check. Uh, that's better. Yeah. That's better. You watch this. One thing you tried to do here was create sort of the, a high desert interpretation of the Scottish Lynx, right? Uh, as close as you could get to a Scottish Lynx experience, I think this is it. But there's a major difference between Bend and Bandon or Scotland. What drew me to Central Oregon was the lack of rain. He first came to the region in 2001 <laughs> and fell in air. love. I always had it in my head, if I could figure out a way to actually live here, uh, and then in 2006 I was asked to come and design Tethero and I used that as an excuse to come and live here. And I've been here ever since. At his office in the middle of Northwest Crossing, the walls are covered in plans. So this is a, a, a topographical heat map. Photos. We're surrounded with pictures of golf courses we finished. Memorabilia and maybe the most realistic CGI Everything. renderings you've ever seen. None of it is, it's not a, not a drone flight. And with Band and Dunes announcing plans for a sixth and maybe final course, Course, there's more coming. I'm the uh, the golf course designer for that course. There's a long way to go before the course becomes a reality, but it would make for a perfect story. You know, I was the one that built the very first golf course at Bandon, and maybe I get to be the one that builds the very last golf course at Bandon. McClay Kid tells me the sixth golf course at Bandon, for now known as New River Dunes, is still years away. But he's seen the property, and while the design is not finished, he's excited for the opportunity. Lee?